I've been lying down for hours now. It's 5.30 a.m. and there's really not much I can do. Um, you know what the worst part about this situation is? I'm in the same room with my parents. They keep looking at me and I can't help but look back and try not to cry or scream. Their eyes are focused on me and their mouths are agape and unnatural. There's a strong scent of blood in the air and I'm just completely paralyzed in fear. Here's the thing. The second that I make a hint that I'm not asleep anymore, I'm completely fucked. I will die and there's nobody around to save me. I've been trying to think of a way out, but the only idea I have is to rush for my bedroom door, run through the front door, and scream for help, hoping any neighbors hear me. It's risky, but if I stay here, I'm dead. He's waiting for me to wake up and see his masterpiece. <sighs> Let me gather myself. You're probably wondering what's going on. Um, I do get ahead of myself sometimes. About three hours ago, I heard screaming from the other side of the house. I got up and went to check on the noise and I realized that I had to use the bathroom. So instead of doing the smart thing and investigating, I used the bathroom first. I could have gotten myself killed right then for my stupid actions, but I actually just did my business and took a peek outside the bathroom. There was, I, at least I think there was blood on the carpet. I got really worried and I just ran back to my room and hid under my sheets like the pussy I am. I tried to convince myself to go back to sleep. There was just some really vivid dream or something. Then I heard my bedroom door open. Like the terrified child I was, I peeked just a little from under my blankets to see what was going on. I could see something dragging my dead parents into the room. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. I can tell you that. It was hairless with no eyes and no clothing. It kind of walked like a caveman with its back slouched as it dragged my parents. But this thing was much smarter than any caveman. It was aware of what it was doing. It propped my dad up on the edge of the bed and made him face me. Then, it sat my mother down in the chair across from me, positioned her towards me as well. After that, it started rubbing its hands on the walls, smearing them with blood. And then it drew a circle with a pentagram in it with all the gore. To finish it off, it scribbled a message on the wall that I couldn't really make out in the darkness. It then slid underneath my bed, waiting to strike. The scariest thing is now... My eyes have adjusted to the darkness since then, and I can read the message on the wall. I really, really don't want to look at it, because it's just terrifying to even think about. But I feel the need to see it before I'm killed. So I take a peek at his masterpiece. How'd that get you? Is that nice and spooky? Nice and scary? It was actually good. I like this. Like, for how short and sweet it was, it, it did a really good job with the pacing. I like the fact that we get a very base, like, illustration of what it looked like, but it's not like... It's not like those ones where it's, it's like, the the hyper-realistic blood all over the fall, the walls, and its eyes were hyper-realistic. It was very much like what a kid would uh, like kind of like what a kid would say just oh it looked like a caveman like that makes sense okay yeah totally and then you know of course we have the the pentagram trope where it's it's a demon it's a demon painting shit on the wall pentagram he's hailing satan from under the bed hell yeah brother but i like this this was really good this was pretty decent for uh for what it was but this was our no sleep. There is no title to this, so I'll just make one up. Um, yeah.
<laughs> that's I guess that's all I'm gonna do. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you guys have a short story or a creepy pasta, something that you guys want to watch or I guess listen to. You want to have me do? I'd be glad to look over it. And you know, it doesn't have to be from our no sleep. That's just where I am because I have zero imagination. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, do everything that YouTube wants you to do to, to show that my content is being watched. That'd be awesome. Okay? Yeah. Um, I'm still researching the next video for the Haunted Breakdown, so be ready for that. I'm going to be doing it on Fort Stevens. Real spooky. Spooky, spooky. Ghosts all over the place. Ghosty goose. Just... I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.